before the summit began. It also <coughs> to break the ice by going from guest to guest and engaging each in a friendly banter fast. He began in the president of Nigeria fast. He, he got, got this right. right. There's a political hierarchy. Nobody, Nobody talks, talks about, about the public. public. It's rated on four poles of influence. Poles of influence. Now one of the poles of influence is pure power. Yes, pure power. And then it's just the country's impulse that we let all more for them. Another pole of influence is population. Yes, population. Nobody takes on China. For example, similarly in Africa, no one is based on Nigeria. Again, population is the reason. Every fifth African is Nigerian. And that is why, before the summit opened, the host decided to go and exchange pleasantries to the president of Nigeria first. Hosts and girls chatted like brothers. Twice, each called the other his brother president. Now, therefore, revealing the secrets they shared. They, they were born president. They said that the background among the brothers was faster. Chineke Chamaka. The summit instructions were firm and clear. What, what the summit by the ruler did have been ever. If only he could rule Nigeria well. Master Chineke Chamaka thought to be fair. Another pole of influence is technology. Yes, technology. Nobody picks on America. It is not because the size of its army, but the capacity of its technology. Likewise in Africa, nobody picks on South Africa. Africa. The technology is not right now that of America. As it is in Africa, it's technology second to none. And after you marry in with the Nigerian president, the host decided to go and exchange pleasantries and humorous uh, verdicts with the president of South Africa. Now, another poll of influence is simple alliance. Yes, simple alliance. Nobody bullies Kenya, for example. Not because it is a poll on itself, but some of its friends are polls. Right from the day that it got its independence. It very wisely became America. Kenyan was out to survive. After greeting the South African head of state, the host decided to go and meet Kenyan. Watch it from my seat at the back of the house. Now, he's going to have to be in the political activities. Under a true American leader, friendly, keep quiet. Then his wife, Asiya, ran up with the ranking member of parliament. Already I have to to three. So sad. Another poll of influence is Shia of Sinancy. Yes, Shia of Sinancy. It is the habit of engaging in needless wars of friends and enemies alike. The members who have had bags of beef. Once at a well attended general meeting of the United Nations, <laughs> the man stood up and went directly to the microphone and rebuked America and Britain loudly. What? what? Shia of Sinancy. And that is why it is not surprising that after greeting Kenya's president, he went to this side of Zimbabwe. Comrade Melus is calling at the man from a back row seat, hated him intense. Now another call of influence is breaking rules. Yes! yes! Breaking rules! Nobody understands the truth better than the leader of Libya. Perhaps it was to buy off such lawlessness that the Sami souls went to greet him next. And so studying him from the back of the hall was engineer Sayyid Tahir. Once had been one of the man's greatest admirers, but not anymore. The man had abolished Libya's nuclear weapons program. How could he have failed to see? Yes! How, How could he have failed to that see? That by so doing, he was sailing away the only insurance <coughs> against future Western attacks. And signing his own death warrant at the battle. How could he have failed to see? Just, just before the summit. Yes, just, just before, before the summit. summit. The life of Pastor. Sineke Chiamaka. He always drove dead.